Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona, and today I'd like to invite you to join me to explore the law of polarity. This is the fourth in a series of videos I'm doing on universal law. And in this video, we're going to discover what the law of polarity is, how it influences our perception of the world. And also we'll look at the number one key to mastery of this principle and a couple of tools that you can use to help understand how to work with the principle of polarity to stay balanced and to manifest the kind of life that you desire. The principle of polarity is an incredibly powerful spiritual law. In fact, it's one of the biggest keys to spiritual mastery, especially at this time on, on the planet. The law of polarity is the principle that we live in a world of duality in which everything can be expressed as pairs of opposites. For example, tall and short, hot and cold, light and dark, happy and sad, spirit and matter. So when we have these opposites, the opposite poles appear to be completely separate, but in reality, they're opposites of the same thing. And remember that the first universal law was the law of mentalism, that everything is one consciousness, right? It's oneness. And then the principle of polarity explains how that oneness appears. So you can think of it as the two sides of the same coin, or you can also see it as two points along the same line. It's a measure of amount. Okay, you can also see it as a, as a spectrum with opposites, extreme opposites on either end. So it's these polarities, the this, this split that creation expresses itself, right? It's what the universe is, is made of. Even in the virtual world that we humans have created, the same principle applies, okay? Every piece of programming that makes up the virtual world eventually traces back to machine language. And that's what the virtual world is made of, right? It's all made of zeros and ones. Our actual world is basically made up of zeros and ones too, right? Truth versus illusion. And we've all got some truth and some illusion within us. The thing about duality is that it is by its nature polarizing because we often will want to identify with one end or the other of the spectrum. Um, I offered a spiritual laws masterclass last year where we studied the, the universal laws and several of the participants found themselves triggered by this particular law at first until they worked through it and started to understand it at a deeper level. So right now we're living in an incredibly polarized world. The law of polarity allows us to take a higher view of the world to see past polarities into that underlying oneness. To, the key to doing that is to find the center, the balance point where you can see both sides of the spectrum and draw on the strengths of each. And that's why heart coherence is so important. Because if you look at the human energy system, the chakra system, we have a spectrum from the root to the crown, right? This represents the polarity between individual survival embodied by the root, right? And oneness consciousness, which is experienced more up here. Being polarized toward the root means that you're in survival mode, right? In 3D consciousness. And being polarized at the crown, it can be difficult to gain traction in this world, right? Or sometimes it can lead to being taken advantage of by those who are polarized in the opposite direction, okay? So when you're in your heart space, it's easier to see the whole picture and to operate from a balanced place, which is a place of compassion, right? From the heart, you can understand and see that extremes tend to meet and move into one another. Um, it's like the, the symbol of the Ouroboros, the snake eating itself, um, or the yin-yang symbol, or the principle of homeopathy, that a toxin taken to its highest vibration becomes a healing agent. Right? So you have all these spiritual symbols and concepts that really address the law of polarity. Okay, so how do we use this principle? First, we can use it by understanding it, right? The acceptance of the polarity. And then all then by exercising our free will to choose where along the line we want to be. 
But to do that, we often have to consciously depolarize ourselves to bring us back to the center, back to the heart. And this requires a process of conscious awareness and often forgiveness and compassion. For example, the Master Jesus said to love your enemies, an incredibly potent and novel concept back in the day, and I think it still is, right? To love your enemies, you have to make the effort to understand them and then to see where both they and you are polarized. Often your quote-unquote enemy has taken on that role in your life because they represent a balance to your own polarity. Once you start seeing this with compassion for both you and the other person, it opens the door to bringing this energy into balance within yourself. And we do this through forgiveness. The act of forgiveness doesn't mean that you condone whatever happened, right? It definitely does not mean to keep putting up with abuse. But what it does mean is to take responsibility for the underlying energy imbalance within yourself or sometimes within your ancestral line or some aspect of the collective that your soul has chosen to work on behalf of, okay? To recognize that this person showed up in the way they did to bring your attention to that imbalance, right? And then we can neutralize the polarity, right? Not by changing the other person, that's their job, but through forgiving them, through letting go of the blame and the shame and the attachment to imbalance. And so by doing this, you're actually shifting hate into love because hate is just the polarized opposite of love. They're on the same spectrum, just different levels of vibration of the same thing. Hate is just love spinning in a negative way versus a positive way, okay? So bringing it into the heart space, you can spin it around the other way to turn it back into love. This is true alchemy or transmutation. And this is what study of the law of polarity can help us to achieve, right? We can do this on a massive scale when we get into the heart space. We can do it with anything once we understand the law of polarity and learn to leverage that balance point. Right now, as I said, the world is incredibly polarized. There's a lot of stories out there trying to force us into one end or the other of a spectrum or any kind of issue. Um, and so this is a way to really help to bring oneness and balance back. If we can start seeing opposites with compassion, and even if it's not an opposite that you want to embody, right? <laughs> Being in the heart space just means that you can operate from a point of balance within yourself and instead of pushing everything on that other end of the spectrum further away instead of fighting it you're accepting it and you are releasing responsibility for it to spirit to the higher spirit to the oneness right so that we can bring more oneness into the situation okay um so where the law of polarity can get especially interesting is when you superimpose two or more lines on each other, okay? It opens up a huge range of possibilities. As artists, we can look at the color wheel as a metaphor for this. So we've got these spectrums of opposite colors, red and green, blue and orange, purple and yellow, and, and these are all spectrums of opposites. And then you have the value spectrum, the light and dark. And when you put all these spectrums together, you get this interplay that allows you to create any color under the sun. And at the middle is that neutral, okay? Another way to illustrate the same concept spiritually is with the medicine wheel or the wheel of the year. It encompasses within it many different polarities or opposites of energy. The rise and fall of the seasons, summer and winter, spring and fall, night and day, youth and age all these concepts, right? You can use, use the medicine wheel to help you see the polarities within yourself. And at the center, again, is this neutral space. That is the place of power, the place in the center where you can see and access and choose from all the polarities. So you can see how working with the law of polarity can really help you become a master creator and manifest the things and relationships that you're really desiring to have in your life. And one last key is that if you find yourself dealing with negative emotions, negative things, something that you really feel isn't a part of the polarity that you want, you can help to neutralize that simply by recognizing it, 
um, you know, maybe it's a negative emotion coming up on you, realize that that is there to call attention to where you might be out of balance. So what you can do is address that energy, accept it, say, hey, I see you there, and thank you for coming up into my life. Thank you for making yourself known. I recognize that, you know, you are a representing some displaced power within myself and I now thank you for reminding me of my power and I'm going to look for the opposite and I'm going to decide that I can actually control this and I can consciously spin this in the other direction and uh, that is a way that you can transmute some of these energies. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video and would you like to, and you'd like to know more about spiritual law, check out my spiritual law playlist and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll be sharing more videos about spiritual law in the weeks and months ahead. And just to let you know, I'm considering offering my spiritual law master class again at some time, either at the end of this year or beginning of next. Um, but only if it's something that people are really wanting. So if you think you might be interested, let me know in the comments below. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and remember you were born to be free.